right, Havilax here, back from my basement. And tonight, we're gonna embark on a historic journey. A journey so difficult, only a select few have accomplished it. Uh, I wanna document it and uh, share it with everybody. I, I, only, I only hope I can complete this mission. But um, I welcome you all aboard on this real parch journey. So let's begin. All right, so here we go. Inside here is the first piece to uh, this journey. Some say it's the hardest piece to obtain, but I can't say that because this is the first piece I've, I've gotten out of the, uh, the series of pieces I need. And uh, thanks to a very good friend of mine, it, he made it super easy. So let's let's just get to opening this up, and we'll uh, explain once it's out. I still have a hard time opening this with a camera in front of my face. So now. Let me just take this off screen for a second. Yep. Okay, so we're safe. Let's take this out. Wow, it's heavy. You guys can see it already, right? What? All right, so you guys know what this is. It's a male balance pipe. Wow. I, um, my thumbs are shaking, so that means I'm excited. Um, I can't believe, I honestly cannot believe I am holding one of these in my hands. I, uh, would have never thought after viewing that real parts OB1 thread over and over and over, it's one of my favorite threads, that I'd actually be going down this journey. Um, bring it in here even closer. I'm not going to share uh, my friend's name just yet because I, I forgot to ask him if he wanted to be on um, his name mentioned and stuff like that. So um, later on, after this, I'm going to uh, talk with him and give him a shout out. So this is a male balance pipe. The, uh, the female butts up against this one and um, is different on the inside. So um, you can, and the, the lip over here is thinner, you can uh, machine these to look exactly like a female. So um, I've contacted a very talented machinist in Texas. You guys might have heard of him. His name is, I think it's like Sam Juarez. Sa Sal Juarez. Oh, Scott Juarez. That's right. Scott Juarez. Yeah. That's Scott J-U-A. Yeah. So I've, I've uh, messaged him and I'm going to be sending this out to him to be turned into a female. And uh, boy, it's a lot heavier than I expected. The weathering on it is great. All real weathering. And I don't know if this is titanium or steel. Um, f from an engineering standpoint, I would imagine this is titanium to withstand the heat from the, uh, the combustion chambers. But I don't, I don't know. I have to, I have to ask him if he knows if it's titanium. It might just be steel. Um, there's some numbers on the side that's really cool um, like right now while I'm staring at these numbers I'm thinking at some par part of this part's life it was machined and somebody in the factory actually just just stamped that it almost looks like it was drill uh, etched in with a Dremel doesn't look like it was stamped but that's how my mind works, is when I see stuff like that. Somebody actually put that in with their own hands. It's incredible. It's very heavy. I can't thank this guy enough for doing this. Um, 
like I said, I'm supposedly this is the hardest part to find, so I already feel relieved on 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 this. And uh, the uh, grenade and booster are both the uh, next hardest pieces to get. But the weathering on it is great. You can even see like the heat scorching on this part here. That's why I don't think it's steel, I think it's titanium. Incredible. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I have to, again, I have to thank you so much for letting me uh, purchase this off you. These things are so hard to find and it being an, being an extra one of yours and you not now having an extra one, that really means a lot to me that you entrust me with this. Um, it means a lot. I really, really appreciate it. This just isn't a part that I bought. This is a part, part that I bought from a friend. So it's another great story. So when I do have it completed, I can tell the, the person I'm talking to that this came from a friend of mine that I've never actually even met. So, um, yeah, here we go, guys. So, uh, the journey is real. Come along with me. It's going to take some time, but I've already had some great um, conversations with guys in the Real Parts thread, and they've connected me with emails and other members overseas to help me with grenades and boosters. So, uh, it's really a financial thing. It's, those parts are expensive, so just save up, and i got to wait for my turn to be uh, for them to find a booster and grenade. So, let's... Um, well, actually, I'm going to go take some comparison pictures with my Romans, just, just for um, record's sake, because this is a when it comes back to me, it's not going to look like this anymore. And uh, we're going to pack this up, and I'm going to take you guys to the post office with me so we can go mail this to Scott. So, Scott, she's on her way to you. Thank you so much, and uh, this is going to be a fun new series. Hallowax, out. Okay, so we're on our way to the post office. Got the balance pipe in my back pocket. We're gonna go send it to Scott. What I've learned is first off, uh, the original owner of the balance pipe gave me permission to uh, say his name, so I bought the original pipe off our boy Chris. You might know him as T Cruz. Chris has a really large collection of vintage parts, and uh, this was one of his last extra ones. So, big shout out to Chris. Another thing I've learned, and I might have to free film all this because of the wind, is that the material the balance pipe is made out of is not titanium. It is something called Inconel, which is used in a lot of aircraft parts. I figured it was titanium because Jet engine rotors are most of the time titanium. So, but it's not Inconel. So, hopefully, it's easy for Scott to work with. I know Scott was the first one to ever convert male balance pipes to female, so he's pretty experienced. We're gonna, I live on a peninsula, so we're going down the peninsula or up. And uh, gonna jump the bike path down into the center of town to the post office. So, I figure you guys can come along with me. I'm gonna go make a detour at Walgreens. 
pick up some breakfast. Let's go. Dash across the red. This guy doesn't hit me. This used to be the world's largest tack factory. The front of it is way over there. And uh, they used to make the tacks and pins and very small nails, but specifically the silver like washer that's in the lace laces of Chuck Taylor shoes. Most of them came from Fahaven right here and the tax factory, that was tax. It's, it is now the largest super site in Massachusetts. Uh, it's still very, very toxic in there. You can kind of see the structure over there. But there's some great old buildings in the center of town on the way to the post office. So I'm gonna show you them, take a little detour. Post office is like four blocks away. So this is the Rogers School. It was the first school donated to the town by Henry Helson Rogers. Henry Helson Rogers built this town and donated all these buildings and built these buildings for free. This is the first one. All these bricks came from England in the bottom of the uh, ships. They used it as ballast. And right at the top is a cupola where I removed one of the bells from my father. The school is up for sale and the bells are worth a lot of money, so they wanted them removed. So now we're coming into the center of town. This is like the, uh, the heart or the jewel of the town. This church here. A lot of people come here for their weddings. Thanks, buddy. And believe it or not, a scene from the Half-Blood Prince was filmed in here. I don't know what scene, but I believe it was with uh, Snape. So. Then we have the library on our left, which was donated by Henry Helson Rogers in loving memory of his handicapped granddaughter. and then the town hall on our right. This is also a church that he donated. All the bricks come from England. Pulling up to the post office now. has been delivered. 
Got to give a special shout out to Chris and a special shout out to Scott for making this happen. So, until then, guys, I'll update you once we uh, get the package back from Scott. So, be safe. back in the basement it's literally been nine days and Scott sent it back to me so uh, if you follow him on social media and stuff he actually posted the um, pictures of it finished the before and after pictures kind of kind of surprised everybody with it so if you've seen it on his social media not going to be that big of a surprise to you here, but it's still really exciting for me. All right, all right, so we're ready to go. All right. This would have never happened without them. And I can't believe I own this. I seriously can't believe it. I'm kind of not looking at it yet. Even though I've seen the pictures um, online. So I got it face down here. Scott also, I would never, never expected him to do this, but he weathered it too so it looks like gunk wow look at the edge wow big difference okay ready one two three holy cow wow this is so legit holy cow incredible and freak incredible Wow, damn it. He's the, he's the master at it, the master craftsman. He actually designed a special tool and I'm gonna try and, I don't know if I have the skills right in, just yet, but I'm gonna try and throw a picture up of the tool right now. If not, I'm a, I can't hack it, but you can see that he made a special tool that he measured off of his real female to get this contour and bevel exactly like the, the original, the, the real ones. So, my goodness. Even the back. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. I would have never thought, never thought I'd... I'd be going down this journey. I never thought I'd own this. Thank you so much, Chris. This really means a lot to me. And Scott couldn't have have had couldn't have gotten this without you. Gotten it to this this level without you. I mean, this is an unbelievable, unbelievable. Wow! What a piece of work. What a piece of work. It looks like this. <laughs> exhaust carbon in here for years and years and years it's not just blued he i don't know what he did but he made it look like there's been carbon buildup on this thing uh, I, i'm i don't know what to say i'm at a loss of words complete loss of words wow so this is it man this starts the journey It's gonna be a long one because I can't afford it. So it's gonna be once in a while when I save up some money, I'll grab another 
heart. So grenade and booster is next on my list. And then I'll worry about the rest. But get the big ticket items out of the way. And uh, then it's smooth sailing. Scott, I can't believe this, man. This is incredible. Incredible. I would have never expected it to be at this level of quality. I guess I don't know what to say. I'm completely blown away. Incredible. Truly wicked, man. Truly, truly wicked. Well, this concludes the emitter. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. It's, it's a little different than the, uh, the rest of my videos. So um, hopefully I can document the, the rest of the parts the same way. But again, Chris, thank you so much for making this happen. And Scott, thank you for, for doing this for, for me. I, I can't believe it's like this. I can't believe you got it to look exactly like the female. I, totally blown away. I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss of words. Thank you so much, guys. Really, really, really appreciate it. This is Hallowax. Out.